That's right, we're here in Procreate. Just last night, Procreate 4.2 came out. I've been playing with some of the new features. Thought I'd do a nice little overview video right here, right now. Let's do this. Probably the biggest thing that they have added to Procreate 4.2 is the ability to draw a quick shape. Now, quick shape works like quick line, where if you draw a line and hold your stylus at the end, you, you get a line. Well, shapes work in a similar manner. So let me draw a square like that, and if I hold, you see it becomes a square, and I can move it around. And if I put one finger on the canvas, it becomes a perfect square. And it's not just squares you can do this with. We can draw the best circle that we know how, and now we have an ellipse, and we can resize it. And again, one finger on the canvas. Whoops, let me try that again. Draw my circle, quick shape it, and then one finger on the canvas, it becomes a perfect circle. And you can do this with some pretty weird shapes too. For example, let me draw something squiggly and weird. I tap and hold and it becomes this polygon shape. And you see up here it says edit shape. Any of these shapes are editable by tapping that. We can grab their anchor points and move them around. So it's pretty cool. It's not quite a, a vector tool, but, but you know, there's some vector aspects to it. So that's the quick line and quick shape. And any of these, you know, you can edit on the fly. Although I will say, once you hit the brush icon, it's set. For me, this is going to be super helpful when I'm doing isometric drawings because I can draw my circles now, and once I have my ellipse, I can go in here and I can edit the shape and I can actually move it to where I want to move it. It was such a pain in the butt to draw ellipses, uh, just circle ellipses by hand and procreate. I actually created a brush at one point, but this is much faster and much easier. The other thing that we have in here is cropping. If I go to my wrench and I think it's in canvas, there it is, crop and resize. And we can do this by hand by just dragging the corners or I can go down to the pixels and I can get a specific canvas size that I'm going for. There's also some resampling options and, and things like that. And I think there's also the ability here to rotate our canvas. Yeah, it's down here. There's just a rotation scale. So if we want to, we could rotate the image that we already have uh, within the canvas that we've set. That's been a big feature that a ton of people have been requesting, especially concept artists, people who are doing landscapes and things like that. Cropping and editing their photo as they go or editing their drawing as they go is a big part of their workflow. So that's a huge addition. They've added some brush setting improvements. This is for tapering at the beginning and ends of strokes. They say it's for comic artists and inkers. That's me. I pretend to be a comic artist or inker. Also, if you don't have an Apple pencil, but you still want to ink with your finger, you can do that. So if you're drawing on the phone, that can be really handy. You could still get those tapered lines. I know some of the students in my Udemy class, discount code down below, aren't using a stylus or an Apple pencil, but they're painting with their finger. So being able to edit these lines, add some taper to these lines is a really nice feature. The other big addition they've added here are clipping masks. Let me draw a little bit on this canvas. And then let me go to my layers. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And if I just tap on that layer, it brings up all my options over here. One of those new options here is clipping mask. So I'm going to create a clipping mask. Let me grab a different color here, maybe a nice shade of orange. Now, anything I draw on that is going to appear. Uh, it's going to kind of be stuck, I guess, or it's going to be clipped. That's the proper term because it's a clipping mask. It's going to be clipped underneath the shape below it. And what's really cool here is that we can add as many layers as we want. So... If I want this to be a clipping mask as well, I just go here. I make that a clipping mask. I can grab a different shade, uh, go back to my pen, and there we go. That layer is clipped as well. So those were the big things. They have added a bunch of other little things. For example, they added to some of the liquefying features. If I go here, you're going to see we have some like other stuff. I, I don't remember what was here before and what wasn't. I think Crystals is new. Edge might be new as well. So, so they have been adding to that as well. There are also some new uh, selection tool settings if I go to that. We have feathering down here. That's new. Uh, we also have an ellipse. I don't remember if ellipse was in here before or not. I think ellipse might be new. So they've been adding little pieces, parts to that as well. The other thing I did see mentioned in the notes is that you can drag and drop a layer between canvases, which sounds pretty cool, especially if you have a sketch in one area, you want to put it in a brand new canvas. That could be really, really handy. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I have to dig a little deeper, but it is possible to do it in this new version of Procreate. So overall, I think this is a really nice update. Procreate keeps moving along. Every couple months, they're releasing more and more features. They're progressively improving. None of this is earth shattering, but slowly but surely, Procreate is gaining ground on some of their desktop counterparts. And I really like the way they're adding things in here because it still feels like Procreate. It would have been really easy to do like a shape tool and stick it up there, do a paint bucket tool and stick it up there. But they keep finding ways to, to cleverly tuck these tools into other tools. 
while also using some of the same gestures that we're already used to. For example, we're used to using a quick line, so making shapes the same way you make a line is just very intuitive. Anyway, just a fun little update. I thought it'd be worth covering, showing off some of that cool stuff. What do you think? Did your most wanted feature make it in? What are you still waiting for? Let me know down below in the comment section. That is all I have for today. I will see you guys later. Got some cool stuff coming up. Maybe even a new iPad review. We'll see.